This lesson will get you acquainted with navigating through Servo Manager's main screen. The very first time you open Servo Manager from installation, you will not see all of these folders. This is because you do not have a device selected. The next lesson will guide you through device selection. First, I would like to discuss one point under the file icon, and that is the print function. The print function allows you to print out the complete configuration of the drive. I have a complete configuration loaded right now, and I will go to the page preview screen so you can see this. Here I can see the complete configuration of my drive. All the data you have entered in the configuration is contained here and is an excellent documentation piece for your customers to ship with their machines. Under the edit icon, you can open the C3 motor manager. This is where you can view motor data files and create new motor data files. More on this will follow in a future lesson. The Options button contains the RS-232 port settings. You will have to configure this properly in order to talk to the Compax 3. On the top right hand side you can see the box to select which COM port your computer is using. You can find out how Windows sets up your COM ports within the Windows Device Manager screen. Next is the Tools icon. Within this is a C3 Profile Viewer. The jerk values determine the magnitude of S-curve your acceleration uses and this tool allows you to solve for those jerk values. You can enter an emotion profile within this calculator and arrive at the perfect S-curve that fits your motion requirements. The tool will also graph this profile. Finally, the question mark icon. This is where the help is contained. By clicking on help, you will launch the catalog that pertains to the drive you currently have selected. If you would like to look at a different manual, you would click on the Servo Manager Help Installer right here. This would bring up this screen. Now, because I am connected, it will ask me if I would like to download the help files from the Parker website. Because I am connected, I will say yes, and on the left-hand side, you can see all of the manuals that are contained within the Parker website. You can click on a manual to download the appropriate version onto your PC. On the right-hand side are all of the manuals that are contained on my PC. If I were to double-click on any one of these icons, I would launch that particular catalog even though my drive is configured within Servo Manager for the i12 T11. So by clicking on the C3 T40 English version, I could launch this catalog and look up any data that I might need. Now on the toolbar, there are a few icons to note. These are the Launch Online Help button, the Open Close COM port button, and the Launch C3 Motor Manager button. The navigation tree on the left contains the steps to select your drive, configure your drive, set up RS-485 communications, launch the optimization window for diagnostics and commissioning aids, download the complete drive configuration and firmware to the Compax 3, and finally upload the complete configuration from the Compax 3. One other tool here is the online device identification. This will essentially ask the drive what model the factory built it to and tell you what drive you have it set up as. The Compax 3 allows you to dumb the drive down, so it will list these two types among other valuable information.